Yo, it's me, a boy, Shonen Boy, here today, I'm here today to do a review of the last episode of Demon Slayer Season 3 and give you my full uh, thoughts of uh, Demon Slayer Season 3 overall. So let's get straight into this. So if you have not watched this episode just yet, go and watch this episode. It's on Crunchyroll. It is a long episode, I will admit that. It goes for like 51 minutes um, and like it goes for like longer than um, almost an hour long episode and it's a very you know long episode um but it's a very very good episode like it's very very good the animation is like next level for demon slayer and it wraps up ep um you know it wraps up season three very nicely and i enjoyed the shit out of this episode like i love this episode it honestly made me cry a little bit um with uh, the nezuko part and i was legit like bawling my eyes out when i saw the uh nezuko part in this episode but we'll, we'll get to that we'll get to that but uh yeah but if you have not seen this episode go and watch it it's really really good and uh yeah but let's get into uh, what happened in this episode in three two one let's go so tanjiro uh defeats the uh demon the upper four demon i think it is and uh he um cuts off its uh, head and uh, he protects uh, these like you know um, swordsmiths that are being uh, that are running away from this uh, demon and uh, Tanjiro is like running after this uh, demon trying to uh, kill it and uh, he uses uh, um, Tsunitsu's uh, lightning style move where he like um, you know does a stance and he's trying to like you know cut the demon and he uses Tsunitsu's like you know um lightning style um combined with his like fire style and like he uh you know um, goes and ki you know kills this uh, demon by cutting its head off and uh it was really epic and really cool um how he uh you know cut off the demon's uh, head and it was like so intense and so cool uh you know um Tokuno throws him a sword, um, the uh, sword that the blacksmith was, like, working on. He was, like, you know, sharpening that sword. Uh, Tokuno, like, throws the sword to, uh, you know, Tanjiro, and he takes his, uh, stance, and he goes in and, you know, chops off this, uh, demon's uh, head, and then he realizes that, like, it wasn't actually the demon's head, and he has to actually, like, you know, stab the demon's heart, and, like, actually, and because the demon was, like, tiny, and he has to actually, like, you know, stab the demon's heart, and then he kills it and it was so epic and so cool and the animation and art throughout this episode was so good it was next level like oh my god it was so good and this episode really wraps up the uh season three really really well like this is the best episode in my opinion for uh season three it is so um you know, intense and, and the animation and art is really, really good for Demon Slayer and uh, Tanjiro killing the uh, demon was like epic as hell and I really enjoyed uh, seeing Tanjiro take down this uh, demon. It was really good. So yeah. And then we get this uh, part um, um, during like the middle of like when we see all of um, Nezuko um, when the sun is like rising and you see Nezuko is like being affected by the uh, sun and she's like burning up and uh, Tanjiro is trying to protect her um, and trying to like shield her from the light because demons um, in this universe like if they if they see the sunlight they like die instant well not instantly but they get they start you know burning up um, and it's like really painful for them to see sunlight um, that's why most of the demons keep to the darkness and everything like that and uh, you know Nezuko uh, you know sees the sunlight and she starts to burn up and uh, Tanjiro is trying to like you know shield her from the uh, sunlight you know so um and we get this whole like uh, you know um backstory of all the moments that we've had with our uh, nezuko and it was uh and it was playing like this really sad music and it kind of got me choked up and you know started i started to like a little bit cry i will admit that <laughs> because like you know nezuko she's an important character in this series and uh you know she's one of the main characters and uh you know and this is like um 
it was like trying to like bait us into like you know um like oh what i mean you know nezuko seeing the sunlight she might die and it's like no she won't i kind of knew that nezuko wasn't going to die even though they were playing uh this dramatic music like this really sad dramatic music um when she was seeing the sunlight and they were going over all of her like you know moments in the anime and i was like she won't die like this is just trying to make me feel um sad for nezuko but she won't die Th that makes no sense if she dies there won't be any point to this anime and like um and then when they finished it and then nezuko comes back and uh you know and tanjiro sees nezuko and fucking like and he hugs i mean you know, nezuko and um you know she's okay she like beat the sunlight or something like that and she was she's not affected by the sunlight anymore um she um she's like the first demon um to you know uh not be killed by the sunlight she can actually walk in the sunlight now um which i was like uh how <laughs> like i was like i was confused and then they um they told us why and uh we got a backstory of like um of um Ruzon, uh the michael jackson looking you know um uh, demon, uh, the main villain of this, uh, you know, series, uh, we got a backstory for him, and, uh, his backstory was, uh, you know, um, pretty self-explanatory, uh, he was, uh, dying of, like, a sickness, and then he got, uh, cured, uh, by becoming a demon, and now, he, but, but because he became a demon, he can't, you know, um, go into the sunlight anymore, and he gets, he will be affected by the sunlight, and, uh, he's been, uh, killing for, like, hundreds, um, uh, for, like, you know, for years like he's been killing like people for like years and years and getting more powerful and everything like that and uh now he and uh, now he's after nezuko because nezuko um has the ability to walk in the sunlight and she is like the um the exception to the uh rule of every other demon she can walk in the sunlight while every other demon can't so um you know muzon is after her and um and uh, Muzon like wants Nezuko now and uh, yeah and I was like oh okay that's pretty cool so we get like a backstory for uh, Muzon and it was a pretty straightforward you know easy to understand backstory nothing too complicated um, and uh, yeah and uh, the whole thing with Nezuko I thought it was a bit uh, you know I guess corny because like they were drumming up that she's going to uh die and i was like yeah i don't think she's actually going to die in this uh episode because of the sunlight that'd be a bit of a like a letdown honestly and then she comes back and uh she i mean you know uh nezuko and uh tanjiro in a hug and she says and she actually speaks for the very first time like honestly i was surprised when nezuko spoke i was more surprised surprised about her speaking than her potentially like dying and honestly <laughs> so i was just and i was like oh nezuko can talk oh my god so i uh, yeah so nezuko like talks for the very first time and it was uh very sweet and uh wholesome and i did like cry a little bit when they were going over you know nezuko's backstory and like um showing us all the scenes that she's had from the uh, anime and having the dramatic um um, you know, sad music in the background. It was like, it did hit me in the feels. I will admit that. But like, I feel like in the back of my head, I was like, I know she's not going to die because that would make no sense. And the anime would, you know, um, it would be weird if Nezuko would die because this would make no sense in the anime because, um, you know, Tanjiro's whole mission is to save Nezuko and get her back to being a human and, like, saving her from being a demon, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, so... You know, if she dies here, there'd be no point to Tanjiro's mission in this whole anime. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. So, I knew that Nezuko wasn't going to die or anything like that. So, uh, yeah. So, I was just like, oh, okay, this is cool. This is sweet. This is awesome for uh, Nezuko. She's not actually going to die or anything like that. And, uh, yeah. So, uh, I guess the sunlight won't affect Nezuko or anything like that. And, uh, yeah. Um, I guess she can walk around in the sunlight whenever she wants to and she can come out whenever she wants to now I guess so uh, I guess so yeah
So uh, we get the backstory of um, Muzon, and then uh, and towards the end of the uh, anime, we uh, we see uh, Mitsuri. Uh, she um, she's having a tough time with the uh, demon, and then she um, because Tanjiro killed uh, the upper four demon. Uh, you know, uh, um, he. Uh, it was um, yeah, yeah. He killed the upper four demon, and uh, and that saved Mitsuri from uh, you know battling the uh, you know the uh, Buddha um, the Garuda you know statue demon, and uh, he uh, you know d um, he went away. He like you know went dust away, and uh, he died because Tanjiro killed that uh, demon. So uh, yeah, so um, towards the end, uh, they uh, all the blacksmiths um, you know thank Tanjiro for saving them and uh, Tanjiro passes out because of all the injuries that he sustained and all the uh, you know um, and all the energy and he's just like you know he's done he's down for the count like he is he you know goes and he gets healed up and he's okay. Like Tanjiro is okay. Um, he just passes out um, because of all the uh, you know fighting that he's been doing, and um, and he's used up all of his uh, energy. And uh, yeah, so um, Tanjiro is okay, and the rest of the uh, gang is okay. Like um, you know, Genryu is okay, and Mitsuri is okay, and Tokuno is okay. So everyone's okay. No one died or anything like that. Uh, they took down um, you know the demons, um, and it was not really a big. Uh, I guess. It was a big deal but like none no one really suffered like any big injuries and no one really died which like that's um that's okay that's fine but uh yeah but it was a i honestly this episode was a 10 out of 10 i would um, i honestly think that this episode is a 10 out of 10 but i feel like this episode was a little bit too long and it had a little bit too much going on in the episode like there was a lot that happened in this episode like tanjiro killing the uh, demon and then um we got like uh ne the nezuko part and then we got muzon's backstory and then we got the ending um to us uh, season three and i was just like whoa like after this episode i was just like holy shit this episode was so good and so long like <laughs> like i was a bit tired after this episode i will admit that so uh, yeah but um i will admit that yeah season three of demon slayer was really really good like every single episode was like Top notch, like the animation art never dipped. I don't think the animation art ever dipped in any episode, which was really good, honestly. Like every other anime that I've seen um, recently, I, like the animation for like at least one episode has like at least dipped. Like at least one or two episodes, the animation has like dipped and like it was not very good. Um, but Demon Slayer was like consistent when it comes to its animation art and it was even better sometimes and i was just like this is how it should be honestly like if you i'm um, like you know this um, you should be consistent in your animation art and i really hate it when like there's one or two episodes where like the animation like dips really badly and it's just like oh this episode was you know shit you know what i'm saying but like demon slayer it was like season three and the animation art was like you know really consistent and the uh story was uh pretty good good for this uh you know season and i really like the uh action and the uh characters and the uh backstories were you know it, they were kind of generic but like it was okay like you know i really enjoyed um you know, finding out more about the, uh, you know, Mitsuri and Tokuno and, you know, getting to see Tanjiro take down his, uh, you know, these, uh, demons and seeing Tokuno take down, uh, the, uh, pot demon, um, was, uh, really cool. I really enjoyed this, uh, you know, season. It was, uh, a really spectacular season and I really enjoyed it. Um, this episode was, uh, probably a 10, uh, yeah, it was a 10 out of 10 this episode and most of the other episodes were like 8 out of 10s. It was really, really good. If I had to give a, 
you know, total score for this anime um, overall um, for season three, I'd probably give it a good solid nine out of ten. It was a really good solid season of uh, Demon Slayer. I wouldn't say it's like anime of the year, but I'd definitely say it was a pretty good anime, and uh, it was like it was setting the standard for you know consistent animation and consistent like artwork um, throughout the whole entire like you know um, season and this is how it should be honestly from start to finish like this was a really like it was a treat to our uh, watch uh, Demon Slayer um, and I'm really sad that it's going away on it um, you know honestly I'm really sad that it's going away after this uh, season but we do have like you know Jujutsu Kaisen and Bleach coming up very soon in next season and next season is going to be hectic like it's going to be so hectic next season i don't even know if i'm going to be able to get to all the animes next season i'm still trying to finish off all the animes from this season honestly so uh yeah but uh demon slayer i'd give it a good solid 9 out of 10 for this uh season i really enjoyed it and uh yeah but uh this is your boy, Shonen Boys, signing out. You know, like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, what did you think about this uh, season of uh, Demon Slayer? Did you enjoy this season? Or, um, you know, do you think it could be better? Um, you know, what's your favorite part? Um, and, uh, you know, what was your favorite part about this episode? Put that in the comment section down below. And what do you rate this episode out of our 10? And what do you rate, uh, you know, Demon Slayer Season 3 overall? Uh, put that in the comment section down below and until next time I'll talk to you guys later and have an awesome day